Okay. Um, what's the ballpark percentage of the annual town budget that would be spent on capital items such as like maintenance and improvement if things are actually being run on the proper track? And do you have kind of a sense of that? Uh, it, that's very interesting because um, the city uh, over the years has not um, addressed their capital needs. There's, there's significant, we're playing significant catch up. Uh, but by the same token, you know, their debt ratio is very low. Because of their rateable rate, uh, rate base, they have quite a large room for, for bonding. Um, so this year we're playing catch up, and again, we're, 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 buying, we're buying like a fire truck, and we, we need some radios, and we need generators for the, for the fire department. We need to address some equipment for public works. Uh, but we, we're, we're trying to be very prudent. Uh, we're planning things not only over one year, unfortunately we need those things now, but we, we're coming up with a five to seven year plan of things that we will need. We, we spent a lot of time with each director and uh, in, in, in have had them anticipate what are your capital needs in the next several years. Is, is there a typical percentage, I mean, you know, with your 30 years of experience that you say, okay guys, you know, typically this is like a percentage that you want to allocate or is there... I mean, or do you use it just based on all the factors that you mentioned? Other factors, but what, what the city needs to do, and, and it, it's, it's, it's a little bit too much of a, of, a, of a task to undertake right at this moment, but we need to set up a fixed accounting system, fixed asset accounting system, so that we have inventory on all our large capital assets. And by doing that, we'll, we'll accomplish many things. Number one, it'll help us with our insurance policy because we'll know the value and we'll know what we have. Um, and, and it'll help us in, in the form of obsolescence. We'll know exactly how old each of, the, each of our pieces of equipment, especially our larger equipment like our fire trucks and, and our major vehicles are. And we can plan, you know, we can plan our maintenance costs, we can plan our, our when we need to buy new. And, 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 and lastly, but not less, less important, uh, we will be assured that um, all the public assets are safely guarded. Nothing is walking, and, and, and we can't account for it. So in the, in the long run, you know, uh, we, we definitely should put it in a fixed asset accounting system so that we can keep track of all this. There is no real percentage. Again, it's kind of difficult. Uh, towns that are very well managed are better able to do that. We're playing catch up, so I couldn't give you a handle because our needs are kind of great right now. Okay. Um, you spoke about this a little bit earlier, um, but maybe you can kind of detail a little bit more in terms of what impact in the second year of this process, um, you spoke about it being, you know, a three to five year process. Um, what can we actually see in the second year that going forward that we can cap, that we can't capture in year one in terms of, you know, positive things on track and things of that nature? Well, certainly we'll have some, uh, uh, some reductions in costs next year. Uh, in prior years, the city was reliant upon tax anticipation notes. They had a very poor cash flow, and they were out for as much as $20 million in tax anticipation notes. So the interest on that was quite expensive. Uh, this year we had to put a million dollars in for interest on TANS, that's what they're called. Next year that will go away. So we're a million ahead of the game. Uh, next year we will have one full year of uh, salary savings from those people who actually went out the door, uh, you know, with retirements and, and um, uh, attrition. And, and um, some people were let go. Uh, we had some we had some layoffs. So we'll see a full salary in that. Uh, there's a few other expenses we went over oh, the pension uh, kick in. We had to we had to make up for the the deferred pension cost this okay. year. That was six million dollars. Uh, there's there's quite a few items of expense that we will not have next year. Okay, um, looking back to when you and Nick arrived, how much time and effort was needed in constructing and or reconstructing really solid financial records? Well, uh, it was quite a bit. <laughs> uh, the city got a very bad audit report last year. And Nick worked very diligently to bring those systems uh, up to snuff. 
uh, the general ledger system now is working, is fully automated and working. Uh, he's still working on the encumbrance system that's been up and running, but it's just because you have one doesn't mean it's fully functional. And so we're more involved now making sure everything is fully functional. We had to change some systems. Uh, we had to put in some internal controls. We, we now have a general revenue area, the, the tax collection office, uh, tax collection office, for example. We had to put uh, new technology in there to expedite the process, and again, for internal control process. That was one of our early priorities, and that has all been done. Um, the tax office will now serve as the general revenue collection office, again, for internal control purposes. All monies will be filtered down to the tax collection office as it's tax and revenue collection now. And so that, that's a big help. Um, but, you know, there were quite a few things that had to be, had to be changed and, and, and the software had to be tweaked a little bit so we could get the kind of reports that we need. Okay.